Introvert, my name is Wendy, and I'm here today to talk to you about hoop size and why it matters and how it can help you. This is not a tutorial. This is me spreading the love of big hoops because I don't think that they get as much attention as they deserve. As hoopers, if you've been in the hooping community for any length of time, you realize that everyone recommends for new hoopers that they start out with a with a hoop roughly about 42 inches. This is my 42 inch hoop. She's 160 PSI in a one inch tubing. And she's what I learned on and I love her. Um, and then we wanna move down in size eventually to get to we are like a 34, 36 inch poly pro. I split the difference and this is my 33 inch poly pro, which I also love. Makes things like isolation moves that much better. But for those hoopers that are struggling if you find yourself um, struggling with moves that you think you should know by now, um, consider a big hoop. A big hoop. A big hoop. Isn't she gorgeous? This is my big hoop. She's one. She's 160 psi, three three fourths uh, inch tubing, and she's about 60 inches. She's as tall as I am. I love her. And what's great about big hoops is, if we remember, bigger the hoop, the slower the hoop. The slower the hoop, the more time we have to get our body where it needs to be. Hooping, if you break it down to its fundamentals, is nothing but a balancing act. That's all we're doing, is balancing the hoop on our bodies with the laws of motion and centrifugal force and all that goodness thrown in. So, big hoop, slow hoop. So, if you're struggling with things like finding your hoop space, this will help you. If you are struggling with waist hooping, it is very forgiving. I can bang into this hoop as much as I want and it's gonna stay with me. Because I find that waist hoopers that are struggling, part of the problem is that you might be trying too hard. And if you push too hard into a smaller hoop, it gets all wonky. So, shoulder hooping. Shoulder hooping is probably the first major obstacle that hoopers have. It takes a long time to learn. It looks easy. It's not. But on a big hoop, I can now slow this way down. Anne Humphreys has a great video on, on a shoulder hooping tutorial using a hoop this size. Totally check it out. So, because we have time, things like learning to bring our arms out of the hoop becomes easier. And the dreaded lifts. Oh my gosh. Have you ever tried to learn the vortex? It's pretty terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> or even just the back lift can be terrifying. You have 160 PSI tubing coming straight at your face. But with a bigger hoop, again, bigger the hoop, the slower the hoop, the slower the hoop, the more time we have, it becomes a lot easier because it gives us the time we need to get our hands in position and there's no real threat of the hoop hitting us in the face. And what's great about big hoops is that it teaches you your hoop space. I have learned uh, where this hoop is, or I am learning, it's constantly learning. But once you get a grasp on hoop space, it translates over to smaller hoops. Because I hear you saying, but Wendy, yes, it's gorgeous, yes, it's beautiful, I might get a big hoop, but I want to learn. I want to be able to use my 34 inch Poly Pro. I want to be able to do all these things on my Poly Pro. It's my goal. It's my dream. I get it. Yes. Two words. Muscle memory. It is a real thing. It does exist. They're not just telling us that to make us feel better. Muscle memory. If you learn it on the big hoop, it will translate down to your smaller hoops, I promise you. I could not chest hoop to save my life. Never been able to do it on any size hoop. On this hoop, I was finally able to do it. I had this hoop a day, 
And because it was my shiny new toy, I probably was out here for a couple hours just doing this. And when I realized, holy crap, I could just do, holy crap, a new song came on and I switched over to my 33 inch Poly Pro and was dancing around. And because I had been working on this, the bigger hoop for you know a couple hours before, I unconsciously raised my arms. And holy crap, I can chest do on a smaller hoop. Like immediately. This is great. Okay. And you can see on my 33 inch Poly Pro that to keep this hoop moving, I have to move faster. That's it. All the movements are exactly the same. The only thing different that I am doing is I am moving faster. Okay. So to the hooper that is struggling with whatever you're struggling with, whether it be lifts, shoulder hooping, waist hooping, um, even your paddles and brakes, a big hoop can help you. No, you cannot break on this hoop without, you know, wearing a bruise for a long time. But because it's teaching you your, your inner hoop space, you know, you can paddle, you know, you can use your arms, and it does translate over. And it will help you improve your paddles and brakes on your smaller hoop. Also to the hoopers that are having a problem finding their own flow. Flow is a personal thing. No two hoopers have the same flow. Usually what you'll do if you're like me is you will emulate hoopers that you admire, which is fine and you should. And then after a while, as you grow comfortable in your hoop, months, not weeks, not days, months, your own flow will start to emerge. You'll find yourself repeating hoop patterns over and over again because it's comfortable to you. And Congratulations, your flow is starting to be born. To the hooper who is mature, like me, sometimes, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't keep up the stamina, you know? And this hoop allows my sustained spin to be a lot slower. And the slower I can do something, the longer I can do it, and I love to hoop, and I hate it when my body gives out before my heart does, you know, it's like I want to keep doing this, but I'm just completely out of energy. So this hoop, you know, is relaxing, it's meditative, it's helped me unlock certain flow elements because it allows me to move inside the hoop. Whereas a smaller hoop, you know, can limit you if that's what you're trying to learn on. So, it can help you unlock flow. So, if you're interested um, in getting a big hoop, I strongly, strongly encourage you to do so. There are plenty of Etsy shops that sell big hoops. Um, sometimes they're referred to as big mamas. Um, or if you're like me, or you're just like, just tell me where to get the hoop, uh, PM me, I know a girl. Um, she'll be happy to do it for you. But even to the experienced hooper, think about adding this hoop to your, to your collection because it's different. It kind of takes you back to the fundamentals of on body hooping. You know, um, the weight of this hoop gives it a nice pushback on your body, it's really kind of like dancing with a partner, um, a little bit more, and it's forgiving. Uh, in a smaller hoop, if you start to lose the hoop, you gotta be really quick to, to pick it back up again. Not so much with this hoop, because again, bigger hoop, more time, because it's slow. So, that is me spreading the big hoop love. Um, I love our smaller hoops, but big hoops need attention too. And I think that once you let one into your house, 
It will become your favorite move. 